We start tonight with developing news. Deadly violence today outside the U.S. Capitol. A driver rammed his car into the perimeter this afternoon, hitting two Capitol Police officers. One of those officers and the suspect now both dead. National Guard troops raced toward the Capitol Friday afternoon, then lined up shoulder to shoulder in a show of force. Law enforcement officials say a car had tried to breach the perimeter of the Capitol, hitting two Capitol Police officers and ramming into a barrier. The suspect did exit the vehicle with a knife in hand, and at that time he started to lunge toward, uh, run aggressively toward U.S. Capitol Police officers. Police shot the driver and emergency crews arrived on the scene. Two stretchers loaded into ambulances. Police say both the driver and one of the police officers have died from their injuries. It does not appear that he is known to the Capitol Police or the Metropolitan Police Department at this time. It does not appear to be terrorism uh, related, but obviously uh, we'll continue to investigate. The scene unfolded while Congress was on recess. President Biden had left for Camp David, and the White House press secretary was in the middle of a press conference. I'm obviously not aware, as Kelly acknowledged, of the, of the situation at the Capitol. Uh, the president of the United States always travels with a national security rep. The incident comes three months after a mob of armed insurrectionists stormed to the U.S. Capitol as Congress was voting to certify Joe Biden's presidential win. Just last week, law enforcement took down fencing around the outermost perimeter of the Capitol complex. Cars, unless they weren't cleared by authorities, weren't even able to get close to the building. Also last week, several lawmakers from both parties pushed for a bill that would remove permanent fencing around the Capitol. Now, two law enforcement authorities have confirmed to CBS News that the suspect is 25-year-old Noah Green from Indiana. Police believe he was working alone and that the threat to the Capitol is over. We'll have more information on this as this, uh, we head up toward the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell.